tomorrow. A Bay Area County Commissioner who is running for higher office is refusing to answer questions tonight about how his wife was able to buy a waterfront vacation home in Arkansas. State law requires lawmakers to disclose their assets, but Chief Investigative Reporter Alan Cohn reveals when it comes to Hillsborough Commissioner Jim Norman, the disclosure form doesn't tell the whole story. They are the financial disclosure forms every office holder and every candidate for office in Florida have to file on a yearly basis, requiring details about the property they own, income they earn, and investments they make. And it's designed to provide the public with a snapshot of that person's assets and liabilities so they can have some idea, that the public can have some idea of potential biases, uh, potential conflicts of interest. And for the last five years, the financial disclosure forms filed by Hillsborough County Commissioner Jim Norman, who is now running for the state Senate, have been, in the word, unremarkable. A home in Carrollwood he owns with his wife, Merlene, now valued at a little more than $200,000. A couple of retirement accounts, savings accounts, a little more than $85,000 in stocks and bonds, and two vehicles he owns with his wife, Merlene. But an ABC Action News investigation has uncovered what's not on Commissioner Norman's financial disclosure statements the last several years is far more interesting than what is. Specifically, this $435,000 lakefront vacation home in an Arkansas resort community. That's Jim Norman's 28-foot pontoon boat docked out back. It's one of two boats he has registered in Arkansas which don't appear on his financial disclosures, even though they're valued more than the minimum reporting limit of $1,000. Shouldn't they be on yes. your financial disclosure? Yes, and I will, I will amend my financial disclosure. Of course, that's nothing compared to the 2,800-square-foot home with three bathrooms, central air, and its own dock. And while the Normans' Tampa home and their cars are listed in both their names, the vacation home, which was bought in 2006 without so much as a mortgage or any kind of loan, a title search shows, is listed solely in the name of the commissioner's wife, Merlene. Do you know how she paid for that house? I'm not involved with that. I do not invo get involved with her financial decisions, and that is her uh, business. State law does not require spouses of office holders to disclose assets they own individually. But Commissioner Norman's comments to us about the House and the fact it's listed solely in his wife's name raised more questions than they answered. For instance, while the commissioner repeatedly claimed... My wife runs a business, and she has investors, and she has made investments that I'm not involved with. Merlene Norman, however, isn't listed on the state's website as the owner or officer of any company in Florida since a small closet company of hers was dissolved in 2001. And we couldn't find any evidence she is an officer in a company in any other state. I mean, obviously, uh, one of the easiest ways to determine whether there was any concern in that area would be to get tax returns. Tampa attorney Tom Scarrett is the former chairman of the state's ethics commission. They would tell you whether the spouse was working, whether the spouse had any significant assets that were in investments, um, whether the, the spouse was a member of any groups of investors or any businesses. Commissioner Norman told us he and his wife file as a married couple, but when we asked to see their tax returns, he cut us right off. In order for us to clear up this, would, would, no. would you show? And while Norman claims he has never asked his wife how the vacation home was paid for, he does say he goes there and he uses the boats. But he is careful how he frames it. I've gone out to help maintain the house. I've, I've helped uh, maintain the properties. Do you use those boats that are there? I, I have used the boats, yes. Yes. They have to be also maintained. Merlene Norman declined to do an interview, and the Norman campaign never did give his promise information about her business. A local real estate legal expert says the commissioner's explanation that the house was an investment by a group of investors is implausible. To see that interview, go to our website at abcactionnews.com. Alan Cohn, ABC Action News.